Hey, me, 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 me. Come on then. Me, 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 me. Where else is it running? Me, 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 me. Down there, then I'm just going to hang it. I'm just going to put Twinkies on it. Hi guys, I'm Phil, that's Elle. This is our Volkswagen Craft that we're turning into a home away from home. Follow us and our sausage dog Frankie as we convert the van and get away for some adventures. stuff's going it's just getting the wiring through i've not looked at it have I you? you could see me rolling my eyes yeah if only you could see her rolling her eyes because she hasn't got a clue either where else is it running me, 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 me. down there then i'm just gonna hang it i'm just gonna put twinkies on it <laughs> i don't bloody know i'm running some conduit I've got it from down here, sort of where the garage area will be. I've run it up this channel here, up through, tied it against the roof because we'll have a light in this part here. Can't see shit, can you? It's up the door again. There we go, that's a bit better. So yeah, I'm gonna have a light on here. Uh, I've got a second bit, we're not cable ties, so let's go get some um, to join it over there. Run it round here. And then into there, so that'll go up there. And what I've seen a lot of people do is run it along through here, run it down in the bottom. And then when they've got to this bit here, they've drilled it. But I'm gonna poke about. There is a gap right at the top that fits 20 mil conduit through perfectly. So basically what I've done is run the conduit along the top, all the way through there, and there she be. That one will run that. Uh, that one will run that way into the middle. Um, and yeah, jobs a carrot. Well happy with that. So that means I can carry on doing this, just running the pieces along the side, and then run the separate lengths off this way. Magic, just what I wanted. And also, just to top things off, Elle's gone and gone back inside to warm up. She brought me a brew and some chocolate mumos. Magical. Best biscuit, chocolate mumos. Um, need to find somewhere to put them. As I said before, we're in the conduit. Um, Realised that screw fix sell right angles and also when I get it back up on my phone, T pieces. So let's try and keep it a bit tidy. What I'm going to do is. Run the conduit to there, put a T-piece in, and then the cable's not pulled tight around these the edges of the conduit, it'll run through the inside of the T-piece. There's nothing else up here, is there? <coughs> the only other thing there is, is the, uh, the cabinet lights, so they'll put, they can come out of this one. Like, yeah, put some on this side, and we'll do one there. So yeah, probably with another piece. 
Elle's gone to get some tea pieces from School Fix so we can finish off these little bits of uncon on the conduit. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, one snag I've come across is, although I've said that the cable can go through the top of this one, um, this one is solid. There is no way through it. So I've ordered some uh, step drill bits, which are going to come tomorrow. Cheers, Amazon. Um, and I'm thinking that I'm going to drill through this. So the conduit will come out, run through there, come back out and go back into this panel. Because the rest of it can just carry on up there. Bit of a shit, because it means I can't finish it. But I can get the conduit to here, leave enough out so I can drill it and feed it through. It's not that much of an issue, really. Uh, conduit in because we want to run everything in before we put insulation in so it's all tucked away um, the only conduit and wiring we've run is the high up stuff so the lighting and for the fans um, because we want to insert it up there everything else is going to be run inside the van as such so on top of the wood frame and round everything else yeah start so, starting down in this corner um, we've got the main sort of point where the 12 volt feed will be the batteries are going to be down here and the breaker block and everything will be down that corner um, it then runs up through the conduit like I said the T pieces they were a real, real good idea because they help her guide the cable in without kinking it or anything like that that side runs down there into some uh, under counter lights to basically yeah. make sure you label everything yeah label everything up because if you don't you'll never remember what it is unless you use different coloured cables well yeah we're, that would we're running all twin core I think it's two mil cable, two and a half mil cable. Um, multi strand cable, but for lighting, because we're going to run LED touch lights, it'll be plenty. The amperage will be fine for it. It goes up and across here to a single light. One there for a light. Input and an output for a light, we're going to run them in parallel. I'll check that. Um, around here and into the next light, again through a T piece. Um, Carrying on. Uh, that's the next under counter light, so the under cupboard light on that side. Again, labelled. Offside and near side as well for your lighting if you're running separate lights on either side. So as you'll never like I say you'll never remember. There is ways of testing it to find out which side is which, but just label it up to start with, you don't have to worry. Through here we're waiting for the drill bit to come. Hopefully the Amazon man will be here with that today. Then we'll yeah, so on. what's that? That's gonna run that'll run through, through, through the through the top oh, of the frame sorry, there. I'm not even got it in frame that'll run through the top of the frame here and then the conduit can just run through it into this t-piece and then off here to another light yep. that is a light yep then back and, back. and again so another wire in for the fan unit this cable here is... is actually for the fan yet so that'll run along this tube and up this one drop out here ready for the fan going in and then the last light at the front here as i say we are going to have main sockets and 12 volt sockets down below but they can all be run and tacked onto the frame that's running inside yep. So next job now, we can put the insulation up yeah. high and insulation down like at the bottom. Like obviously this one there, that was just a yeah, that was piece a, that we tend 
There that was an with. off cut from one of the other pieces, so. We're gonna That's fill, we well, we're gonna <coughs> wait for that drill bit to come and then we can fill all the top there. We can fit all the top ones across here and across the bottom. There's no wiring's gonna go through that. It's actually gonna be in front of it. So we Makes for easier there. access as well. If there's any issues with the wiring, if there's any issues with this wiring, we can feed it back through, tie another piece to it and pull it all the way through. But if there's issues with the main wiring and you've boarded it all in, I reckon it'd be a bit of a nightmare. So our idea is to keep it inside the van under the cupboards and go from there with it. I thought I wasn't recording then. I was just like, did you see my face? Yeah. <laughs> I was going, oh shit. Am I did I film it? I'm <laughs>